Hey, hello everyone and welcome to our Dirk Shifa Finance and Operation Module by Training Series. So in our previous episode, we cover all the mandatory and important setup to create a product in Dirk Shifa Finance and Operation. So in this new episode, we will create a new product and release a product within the entity. In order to create a new product, just click on the modules, product information management, all product product masters. So when you open the all product product master, you can see a lot of products is created here. It's all the product are visible from all legal entities. So this form is a global form, but the product inside all product product master is not used for the transaction within a legal entity. The product which we use in the transaction within the entity is available in the release product form. To navigate to the release product form, we again go to product information management module. Inside product, we have release product form. This product will be used in the, for the transaction of purchase and sale within the legal entity of USMF. Different between the all product and product master and the release product is, for example, your company have more than lakh product, but currently we are using only the thousand product within the transaction. So the one lakh product is. Use as a product catalog for our company, which is available in the all product and product master. But the thousand product which we'll actually use in the transaction, we found in the release product form. Let's we create one product and release this product in the system, so you can better understand the both. Let's create a product. We click on new. First is a product type. In the product type, we have item and services. So item is a tangible. Product and the services is a non-tangible product. For now, I am creating the item. In the product subtype, we have two. Uh, one is a product, and second is a product master option. So, in this episode, we are creating a product, and in the next episode, we are going to create a product master. So, in the product number, as per our first episode, we have set the product number, uh, number sequence from P dash 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 zero one. So, it will automatically generated. For the product name, we are creating cooler. It's a product. And click on OK. Creating product is very easy as compared to create a release product because release product have a lot of field. Now the product has been created. Now, just complete the all the mandatory setup and release that product. Okay. So first is the dimension setups. In the dimension product dimension group is not available because it's just product, not a product master. The next setup is a storage dimension group. I want to track the my product with the site and warehouse level, so I'll select the SW site and warehouse which we created in the episode two. For the tracking dimension, for the simplicity, I have cur currently not track the product with the serial and batch. In the future episode, we will track the serial or batch, or both. So now I'll select the none as a parameter. Click on OK. So you can see storage dimension and tracking dimension group is assigned over here. Next is a product attribute. Currently, we don't have any product attribute within our product because our product attribute is assigned to the product category. So first, we need to assign our product category. So I'll select. Product category which we have created. This product category we have created in the episode three, so you can watch that episode for the product category. The home appliances. I'll select a cooler. Okay. I'll save this. And again, go back to the product attribute. So here you can see all the product attribute is available now. Okay. I'll select the brand. Here is a check mark. Cooler. Next is the industry type. It's not required now. It's functional. We select as a yes. Next is a warranty start date or warranty end date. We'll select a warranty date as a. No, no, warranty start date. Okay. So we'll fill all the attributes. Next, we select as a related product. So as we discuss in our first episode, 
the related product where we mention the accessories of the product or alternative item for the product for example this is a cooler so this is jaguar cooler if the jaguar cooler is not available then you can add the one other product which is alternative of the other brand of cooler so currently i have not assigned any related product in the unit conversion unit conversion is a very important setup we first say the standard conversion in the standard conversion microsoft provide you so many standard conversion but many of the times you have specific unit conversion for your product or your industry specific let's we create one intra class conversion here we our product is cooler so we set as a box which means that one box is equal to two colors so in the one box of cooler we are selling the two colors so we set it as a piece okay here we set as a piece click on okay intra class conversion is set over here in the future episode we will explain the standard conversion intra class or inter class difference now once our all the setup has been done we click on the release product button first we show our product we click on the next button here we select our entity usmf you can see, uh, select the multiple entity to release this product we click on the next button here you show the number of selected product and selected companies so the fourth option is a run in batch for example you have 1000 product created and you are releasing the 1000 product at the same time so if the button run in batch is not enabled the system will hang till the all the thousand product will be published or released so we are using this at the time of you are releasing the item in the multiple or huge quantity for now i have only one item so it will take within a second to release so i'll click on finish now we check our product in the release product form on the release product we search for our so you can see over here our product is released now in the release product form let's complete the, all the remaining setup so your this product will be now you can use for the transaction first need to set up the item order group which we created in the episode 5 so weighted average okay now i set the item model group here in the item group select the audio product in the item model group i am selecting the consumable product now i'll save to validate all the setups are done properly or okay. we have option of validate button click on the validate button so all the fields are required for the validation are specified for the product so our product is successfully created in the system so that's it for this video in the next episode we will create a product master within the system so thank you for watching